community. Uh, today's tutorial, we are going to tackle the Gespet Mark II Kai. If somebody's wondering what are we speaking about, those three do. I will be recreating the one at the very left in blue, but giving it the green color. Little disclaimers about these dudes. <clears throat> the guest pet is like the mass produce standard, the GM of Super Robot Mars. They come in every color and or lack thereof. They can be black, they can be yellow, popping red, salmon. You name it, you have it. Hell, you can make a glorious one that's completely in pink with touches of red and orange. And yeah, that could work. So, same goes for their weaponry, to be really honest. Most of the time when you get one in-game, it's gonna come with a set of beam sabers and maybe a machine gun. With all of its built-in weaponry, of course, going from backpack cannon, we're going from uh, twin link busters to vessels everywhere. These guys have it all. You can mount it with everything. So I'll be making one frame and then stacking up the weapon for you guys. So, with that said, here are today's paint you will need to use. A metallic green. 40 brightness, 72 red, 100 green, and 57 blue. We will be using as well, I'm going to switch a pure black, zero in every value, you can't go wrong with that one. We'll be using a popping white with the following stats of 94 brightness and 238 in every statistic else. After that we'll be using a popping yellow. Popping yellow is going to be at 100 brightness, 255 red, 200 green, 72 blue, and lastly we'll be using a red with the following values of 79 brightness, 200, 200 red, 57 green, and 41 blue. All glow parts will be on the fourth row and the fourth orange. It's sort of dark, close to brown on paper, but on display it's actually a popping orange. All the caution mark will be the third row red. Right here, by the way, that was a horror right here. Sort of rusty, I really like it, to be honest. And finally, all paint modifiers will be on the... Uh, my modifier, by the way, I'll be inside something like full metallic, I mean, uh, airbrush, you know, these stuff. You'll be rolling this at 84 for the full metallic and 100% airbrush. You can choose it if you want, That's how, that is just how I made it myself. Alright, so with that, let's get craft. So, the frame in and out of itself is fairly easy to make, and it's gonna be for the most part HC part, though for the backpack you can go master grade, no one's gonna look at you the wrong way. Be wary, however, that there's gonna be a barrel showing up due to the arm. So let's go. For the weaponry, we're gonna go for argument's sake with a GNX beam rifle. Not beam rifle. Never. Beam rifle for this stream and for this field, I will be using the long rifle from the GNX. Let's see. There we go. That'll do just fine. So, with that out of the way, the head. The head part is gonna be from Jagged. So, there we go. Jagged HD. The body will be going with the Sandra. Custom HG as well. So here, set up custom. There we go. The arms is actually pretty obvious. Everybody that knows through or already gets that. I'll be using the GPO2 A pistolless arms. So GPO2 A. There we go. Once again, I grade. The legs give me a run for my money. At one point, I was really thinking, what do I use? What do I go with? Turns out the Dragon Gundam has something, well, I won't say very faithful, but really in the spirit of the guest thing. So, yeah. Take it for yourself, guys. Backpack wise, I had my head spinning for a while. What do I go with? What do I go with? It was actually pretty simple. The B Dash Gundam is exactly what you're looking for here. Now, here's the torch as I mentioned earlier. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move the shield to give you guys... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to equip a shield with this. You're supposed to, but I'll show you how. And the backpack is gonna be... 
dash as a basic earlier. Oh, we're there. I swear, there we go. E dash. Now here's the catch. Depending on its size, you're gonna have the barrel coming out from the arm. So choose what you will. I will be going pretty stiff with the edge. I like to have my barrel big and better. Now, we're gonna go for the builder's part and the shield. The shield is completely optional, but sometimes some of you will want to run a suit and well, as soon as you're that good and you want to have the defense, that's where the shield kicks in. So, we'll be using a high grade GNX GN shield. It gives you a GN field, so extra defense and damage dampening. You want this to be always on your left arm. Never move from there. So, here are the shield's measurement, position, and rotation. Scale, minus 300. That thing never changes. <laughs> Positioning X minus 234. Uh, there's there. You'll want to go with positioning Y at 300. Z will be at 84. The positive. Rotation X is neutral. Don't touch it. 116 for Y though. And lastly, Z will be at 60. There you go, you can't see the shield anymore, it is gone. So yeah, you wanna make it work like that? Let's do it, and you're good. Boom, done so. Now for the builder's part. The build we'll be going for actually has machine gun on its head. Once again, we're doing the one on the very left, guys. You have two rotating gatlings. I can't reproduce them exactly, but I can be fairly accurate, so let's go. We'll be going for the left arm, that one. Right up, right up. And we are going for the beam and the sheet gun. Now, as to where you want it, oh, on the arm, you want left arm number two. You want the sheet gun. Positioning. Position to location to scale. You know X minus 25. You will want yourself Y at 280. There we go. Z at 57. Rotation X. Rotation Y minus 211. There we go. And lastly, you'll want to check Z at 57. Scaling up to five. One, two, three, four, and up to five. There we go, it is fairly on the inside of your arm. Not moving. Yup. Ah, let's go this here. There we go. 85 looks pretty better. <laughs> on the slide. Now for the right arm. Also, I just realized I inverted by, uh, I basically did the right arm. So, left arm. The machine cannon. Nope. Right arm. The machine cannon. There we go. Measurements in order once again. Minus 55 for X. You will be going for 282 on Y. You will be going for 57 on Z. You will be going for rotation X. You go minus 211 to Y. Lastly, 86 on Z. Yeah, that's the mistake I made on the other one. There we go. Scale is up to five. Now we technically have the gap into the side of the arm. Moving on with that, we'll be going with the missile pod on both legs. Oh, there we 
bootleg. There we go. This will pop. All right. That one, to be honest, I went on a gut feeling. I had a hard time making a missile plug that was just over there because I was going to try and put a six-barrel missile to try to make the car track right smack in the middle. You can't put gold from the way. So, take that one part with a grain of salt. It's not as faithful as what I wish it was. So, X-58. Y, 191. Z, 31. Rotation, minus 2 for Y, 6 for Y, and six, minus 16 for Z. There we go, we're in business. Scale of 19. There we go. So as I was saying, I would have put right smack in the middle if I was able a 6 to missile pod, but those cannot go in the leg for 5 feet high track. 8. After you've got that, we're going to move to the last part, which is totally optional, to be honest, but hey, to be faithful, those guys have wings. Totally orientable, but yep, yeah, your choice would have picked them. So for those that want the wing finder, look this way. We'll be going for backpack, left side. Did I skip it like an idiot? There's no secret that way. There we go. Wake finder, backpack, both sides. My foot. Now, 3D Wake finder stacks. We're gonna go for X152. There we go, what's this? One, uh, minus 191 for Y. Alright, that's done. We will be going for minus 23 for Z. Now, for the rotation, as follows, please. 13 on X, that's it. Scaling. Nothing. There we go. Wake Fighter has been set. Action wise, once again, these guys can do everything, but the one thing I see most get fed do are punches with their gun weapon. This one doesn't have, however, that, so no punches. And stop time is for Universe! Well, drop kicking their poor target to the ground. And the hurt. First action wise. Hey, I guess you can go full burst with this build? <laughs> I don't know much. Uh, I want to get those guys to do whatever the hell you want with So, that's it for abilities of the deal. Now we're gonna go to the painting. Also, break this flavor. The song you're hearing right now comes from Stone Mech Knuckle. The whole thing is going to be played so far. <laughs> so, weapons. I would say, for what I'm going to go, the beat is going to be full white. This is going to be. Every caution mark, as mentioned earlier, will be. Third row, first red. Can't go wrong with that one. The glow parts are going to be fourth row. Fourth orange. Boom. Thank you to build this part. Well, that's set real quick. Now, as I said, weapon, uh, better weapon I see full one for now. The rage weapon, the gun. We're gonna go with a two black, one green, and two white. So black. Black. Great. Great. White. What? Glow color and caution marks already set. Move it on. Surface for the head. We're gonna be going with three. Three. Black. Three. White, white. 
for the body. We'll be going three. We'll be going three. Yep, no. We'll be going three. We'll be going. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I haven't thought of the next one like that. It is a uh, ship to white. Yep. White into a black. Nope, oh, that's yellow. And that one's green into a black. Fully up to you. Oh, but green. Very pretty chaotic. <laughs> next one. Pretty easy. Everything is green except for two bucks. Uh, I will also be covering all of the other parts. Oh, oh, oh. This is where it goes, what? Now for the other parts. It's getting too complicated, we're gonna need it to uh, hit it twice. Three! Black! What am I saying black? What? It's gonna be... There we go. It's off there. Let's get this green white, green white. Twice. There we go. Moving up to the leg. We're going to be going with white, two green, one white, one red. There we go. White. Three. Green, green, white, and a red. For the builder's part, we have green, green, black. For the backpack, we will have, in order, black, black, green, green, red, red. Green, right. black, black, green, green, green. Red, red. To the builder's part. Get the pins, please. Black. Black into white. Two green. The shield. Ah, if you want to play that, see, just fat green. So, yep. <laughs> and there we go. We're technically done. Oh, we thought it was a bit. Put the airbrush. There you go, guys. You have your very own guest fence and teacher tie stuff. Hope this stream was pretty much informative. And as far as making a demo right now, I will be unable to do part Oh, Oh, rolling on your left. <laughs> However, I do get advice if you protest if you go into assemble one last time instead of the easier going. We have Ardos. Not that many, but some option parts. We have vessel parts, we have the machine cannons, the overhang, self-destruct, please don't do it, but there is an important thing to play. And the Vulcan parts. So, I'm gonna get the big one out of the way. If you make a unit that has every single deal that buff, taking less damage, hitting like a troll, moving faster, and every other thing you can find, that is, near death. It's not too hard. You will become an unstoppable guard for shock. And sell the truck, get it out of itself, hit like a shock as well. That can be a building with your approach. But if you don't feel like being that extreme, you can just go with overhead cannon. You can go with your boot thing. Get this one downward. Open fun right there. And from there on, stack every option damage you can find and EX you can get. Every attack you'll get will special in power. Wow, I agree. Every attack you'll do will end it up boost the detail of special shot, sweeping, bullets, bullet for the shaker, you will lose that damage. Hell Or, if you want to EX deal, you will put an awakening. So, usually EX and awakening go hand in hand. You'll get with that, fellas, I will bid you farewell and until the next building session where we tackle the Gent Chevelle. Toodles!